All right, guys, I got a wicked cool video for you today. This is the Verizon Galaxy Nexus, and it has actually got a ROM now ported over from the Nexus 5 to give this bad boy KitKat and all the cool features of pretty much all of them that I'm seeing that the Nexus 5 has. Um, so, as you can see, it has the Google Experience Launcher. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out my video on it. Uh, it is very cool and does have lots of neat features like, for example, this one. Okay, Google. What's the weather today? Today's forecast for Richton Park is 50 degrees and partly cloudy. A little choppy. You can see there's a little bit, a couple of little issues with it. But that's really it for that Google stuff. Um, for that voice commands, it does have a little blotchy in spots I found with it. But still pretty slick. So let me just show you what I'm working with here. We're going to go into settings and about phone. And there you go. There is Android 4.4, which has the Easter egg here of KitKat. There it is. Very, very slick and awesome. We can come back out of that. Um, it does have, obviously, all the same settings stuff here does have this printing and it looks like it actually has some features in here now that you can actually use and one is the cloud print and the other one is HP print plugin services and you can turn those on and off and you can either print through the cloud or you can print through I think a wireless or Wi-Fi printer pretty cool that's built right into the settings and so besides having the Google cards or Google now cards right here on the side of the launcher you do have a couple pages and you can add to them you can get into widgets and wallpapers and settings right there by holding down on the screen. App drawer right here and get into see all of your applications. This is exactly what it comes with on the ROM when you flash it over. Pretty much all the Google stuff and a couple other little things. Uh, not too much there. Now, one thing that I want to, two things I want to point out that I thought was really cool actually is your phone calls. So you can see your phone app or yeah, it looks a little different. You can see over here you have histories. You can uh, go over here and you can get to some settings. You can click there and get to the dialer. Or you can click here and get to all of your contacts. I don't have any here right now, but that's how you would get to them. You'd have see them listed. But the cool thing about this is just because they're really integrating this microphone feature is just like you normally would do a web search to find a phone number, now it's in the dialer. So, for example, if I click here and I say Portillo's, Maryville, Indiana, it should do a web search for it. And actually, there it is. There it is. It came up. So then all you got to do is click on it and it'll make the phone call. Uh, this phone isn't activated, so it's not going to work right now, but that is how it works. Um, just it's insanely cool that the dialing app has the search feature built into it to go and search the web all through voice activation or just typing it in. I love it. Genius. Google's genius figuring that stuff out. Second thing I want to show you guys is Hangouts. And Hangouts now works with your messaging. So send SMS or Hangout messages right through this application. So on your phone now you don't have that messaging application. It's all done through Hangouts. And it's neat, neatly integrated in there. I uh, like that feature absolutely a lot. Very, very slick. Um, other than that, the rest of your stuff here, you know, you got your decent camera. Camera's all functional. Everything I've seen has been fully functional on here. I haven't had any issues besides a little bit of fragmentation when you do a voice command search. Um, normal searches, no, but when you do a voice command search, there's a little bit there. And obviously, Super Sue, so you have root access. And that's it. Everything else fully functional. Awesome, awesome app. You got the all the new wallpapers right here. They come with the launcher right along the bottom here. Try another one just to show you. Go ahead and hit set. And it does have that full screen stuff. You have the grayed out bars and stuff like that on top. Down here all clear. Everything's pretty much clear. Uh, very, very, very nice. I like this new Google experience a lot. So this is, like I said, the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. This is a ROM. So let's go ahead and get into recovery and show you guys how to use this. So to get into recovery, I'm just going to um, power off the device. There we go. And we'll boot into bootloader mode. And you can do that by holding volume up and down plus power. 
all three. Bootloader mode, scroll down to recovery, and then enter. Now, obviously this is going to require you guys have some sort of unlock, well, unlock bootloader right there. You can see the unlock on the Google screen. So you're going to have to have an unlock bootloader. You're going to have some kind of a custom recovery installed, whether that's Clockwork Mod Recovery, Team Moon Recovery Project, whatever it is, you're going to have to have something installed there. And if you don't know how to do any of that stuff, please check out my other videos on this device. I have a lot of them. Uh, so from here, it's pretty simple. You just go through your normal wipes with the factory reset. So I'll just do that one right now. Scrolling with your power buttons. And this is going to wipe data, wipe cache. You can also wipe, wipe Delvic. I'm not going to do it for right now, but you can do it. It's in advanced settings. Uh, would be recommended if you're flashing this first time, obviously. And if you don't know how to do that, like I said, you need to watch those other videos of mine. There's, there's lots in there. Alright, so wipes complete. So we're just going to go to installs. Choose it from SD. Go to zero folder. And I've got mine in downloads. And you're going to just pick the one you want to flash, which is that one right there. Toro AOSP signed. And it's got some information in there by Baldwin, Baldwin Guy, I guess, 77. And I'll give you links to his uh, stuff in there as well. And just keep scrolling down. And go ahead and install it. And this should take maybe two minutes, and we'll come back to it. Okay, so that uh, has installed, and then we're going to go choose it from SD card again, and zero again, and then download folder again. And the reason we got to do this is because it does not come pre root with pre root access on there, so that SuperSue app was not in there when you install the ROM. You actually have to use this SuperSue zip to get it installed. So we're just going to click on it, go down to yes, and go ahead, and it's going to install it. Shouldn't take but a minute here there you go so then we can go back go back reboot system now and go ahead and reboot um, so I'm gonna link you guys to the thread that's got all this information the ROM, the super sue all the information you're gonna need there is a lot more instructions on there than what I showed you because they talk about flashing a new bootloader and some radios but if you're on the newest OTA update when you flash this you don't need to adjust your bootloader or your radios to get this functioning correctly. Um, but if you don't, you know, read the directions in the form and you'll see how to do it. It's not really that hard. So there you go. There is your boot animation for this device. It's probably going to take up to hmm, about 8 minutes to boot the first time. So be patient for it. When it is done, you will have KitKat on your Verizon Galaxy Nexus. Very, very sweet. You'll have the Google Experience Launcher and all those goodies and fun stuff to play with along with that contact app and hangouts and all those goodies. There you go. That basically is the Nexus 5 on the Galaxy Nexus if you want to look at it that way. Hope you guys like this video. As always, check me out at rootjunkie.com. You can see it right over there. Shipping. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.